prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Convert us, O God, our Savior, and instruct our minds by heavenly teaching, that we may benefit from the works of Lent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. You shall not steal. You shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. 
you shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind, but you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment. Show neither partiality to the weak nor deference to the mighty, but judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. Though you may have to reprove him, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked and you clothed me. Ill and you cared for me in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison, and visit you. And the king will say to them in reply, 
Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill, and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and administer to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Upon reflecting on our readings today, particularly our gospel, in this first week of Lent, I was remember a great poet, Tagore. When the great poet Tagore was working among the poor in slums of India, he experienced what he thought was an overpowering vision of God. He was so deeply moved by his vision that he made immediate plans to leave the city and retire into the mountains of the high Himalaya. He felt that he needed a period of solitude in which to reflect on the vision and try to understand it more deeply. But as he walked out of the gate of that city to go up into the mountains away from his people, the vision left him. And Tagore remained in the city with his people. My dear brothers and sisters, we better stop imagining or searching about heaven. The gospel today gives us already a hint what it is like. It is giving food to the hungry drink to the thirsty, clothing to the naked, welcome to the stranger. It is in the world of people in need that visions of heaven arise. Being indifferent to them is denying ourselves the pleasure of the vision. Leaving them is leaving the vision. Apart from them, heaven 
is only an illusion. My dear brothers and sisters, it is by loving and caring to other people, regardless of the star their status, race, and upbringing, that we can also be truly lovers of God. No one can love God without loving one's neighbor. When we reach out to others, we also reach out to God. And if we deprive others of our love and care, we also deprive ourselves of the great love and mercy of God. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus has been very clear in his message that true discipleship is shown by one's love and care for others. A story is told about Martin of Tours who met a poor man on the road the poor man, shivering in cold weather, asked Martin something for himself. Martin had nothing to offer to the poor man. Instead, he looked his clock, cut it into two pieces, and gave the other half to the man. That evening, Martin had a dream and he saw Jesus wearing the peace that he had given to the poor man. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus lives in all people, even those whom we do, we do not like at all. What is our attitude to those people in our community? Do we see Jesus in suffering people within our family or community? Can we extend our love to the unlovable, even those who hurt us? We pray in this season of land that we may have the heart to love even those not worthy of our love, so as to share in the everlasting joy in the kingdom of God. Please stand. Our Lord reveals the mystery of God's kingdom to people who extend their loving care to the poor and the hungry. Let us pray that the kingdom of God be made real among us. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. Lord, let us love and serve you in others, that the church may become a home for the lost, the stray, the weak, and the wounded. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others, that rich nations may seriously undertake steps to help in the development of poorer nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others, that through our practical generosity, the neglected and the rejected of our society may be drawn to the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others, that we may spread the reign of the kingdom in our homes, workplaces, and in the community we belong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others, 
We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. That the dead may enter the kingdom prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. Father, knowing your boundless love for all people, we confidently bring our intentions before you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless the day, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed day, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted to you, Lord Jesus. Pray, brethren, Please that my stand. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this devout oblation be accepted or be acceptable to you, O Lord, that by your power it may sanctify our manner of life and gain for us your conciliation and pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happier we who are called to receive him. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience health in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Enlighten the minds of your people, Lord, we pray, with the light of your glory, that they may see what must be done and have the strength to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.